Hi, it's Lindsay Carlson here. I absolutely love the films of the Coen brothers. Even if not all of them are absolute masterpieces, Joel and Ethan have given us some very great films over the years. And today we're going back in time to their feature-length debut. The movie we're looking at today is 1984's Blood Simple. I'm going to unbox this release and share my opinions. This is a release from the Criterion Collection. And then, as with most Criterion releases inside, we get a nice insert. This folds open. There's an essay on this side. And then we have all of our credit information and the like on the other side, as well as some other photos from the film. Inside the package, we have the film on 4K Ultra High Def. And we also have the film on Blu-ray disc, with the Blu-ray including several bonus features. Criterion had previously released Blood Simple on Blu-ray. I'll read the description of the movie as follows from the package. There's the inner shot before I read the summary. Got our main characters there. Joel and Ethan Cohen's career-long, darkly comic road trip through Misfit America began with this razor-sharp, hard-boiled neo-noir set somewhere in Texas where a sleazy bar owner releases a torrent of violence in one murderous night. Actor M. Emmett Walsh looms over the proceedings as a slippery private eye with a yellow suit, a cowboy hat, and no moral compass, and Frances McDormand's cunning debut performance set her on the road to start. The tight scripting and inventive style that have marked the Coen's work for decades are all here in their first film, in which cinematographer Barry Sonnenfeld abandons black and white chiaroscuro for neon signs and jukebox colors that combine with Carter Burwell's haunting score to lurid and thrilling effect. Blending elements from Pulp Fiction and low-budget horror flicks, Blood Simple reinvented the film noir for a new generation, marking the arrival of a filmmaking ensemble that would transform the American independent cinema scene. It's no secret I love the movies the Coen brothers have put out. They've given us classics like Fargo, The Big Lebowski, No Country for Old Men, and even the remake of True Grit. They're excellent filmmakers who know how to beautifully combine dark elements and more comedic elements. Their body of work is all over the place, as you can tell from some of the titles that I listed. Blood Simple, of course, is set in Texas back in the day, and it deals with a rather slippery private eye played by M. Emmett Walsh, who's hired to kill a woman and the man that she's been sleeping with by her estranged husband, who's also a bar owner. And things quickly escalate very quickly. The movie does get pretty dark and violent at times, but despite that, there's certainly some moments that are rather comedic. The Coens can really ride the two extremes better than just about anyone else out there. And the performances are great. In addition to the aforementioned M. Emmett Walsh, you can get an early performance from Frances McDormand. She, of course, would become one of the Coens' favorite people to work with and should be in many other great films over the years, including playing the overbearing mother in Almost Famous and the mother of a murdered girl in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, another underrated classic, much in the vein of the Coen brothers' style. It's a great-looking film as well, due in no small part to the cinematography of Barry Sonnenfeld. Sonnenfeld would also go on to be the cinematographer on Misery, the classic Stephen King adaptation, but he'd be better known as a director in the 1990s when he directed the Addams Family movies, as well as the Men in Black films. And of course, you have a great musical score by Carter Burwell, who has long been the Coen's preferred composer. Everything here comes together pretty nicely. It is kind of rough around the edges, being their first effort, and the... Uh, Narrative is a little tricky to follow at times, juggling a lot of these elements and characters, but overall, it comes together very nicely, and it is an excellent first effort from two of the greatest talents to come out of the world of cinema in the past 40 years. Blood Simple, put simply, looks absolutely gorgeous in 4K. Being a movie that's set largely at night and in dark places, but with elements like neon signs and other lights, it's exactly what HDR was made for. And needless to say, these things work wonders for the film. The included Blu-ray looks great as well. I'm assuming it's probably identical to the previously released Criterion one, but I'm happy to say the 4K gives it that nice extra push. It's the best this movie has ever looked, and if it's the best it ever does look, I'm okay with that. There are several bonus features on here as well. I do believe most, if not all, of these are carried over from the earlier release. Because again, I'm pretty sure the included Blu-ray is identical to the previous release. Fans of the movie will be happy with what they get here, even if there aren't really any brand new bonus features to speak of. It is a great package, and it's perfect for anyone who likes this movie or is just curious about the Coens or neo-noir style films in general. Are you a fan of Blood Simple? Have you picked up the 4K release from Criterion yet? Do you think it's the Coen Brothers' best movie? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, I'm going to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. 
Until T. Carlson, I'll see you next time.